an Earth Day celebration here at Buckshaw Stadium in Santa Clara as the fans are getting ready for the Earthquakes and Chivas USA. Both teams looking for points in this match and looking to get back on the winning track. Running lineups brought to you by Stanford Hospital and Clinics. Here are the visitors. Bocanegra and Birdie make a defensive partnership which is going to be very strong to play against but it's that guy up front, Eric Torres, that really is going to be the danger man tonight. A good back four, Jordan Stewart comes back into that. Nice to see J.J. Cabal get another start in midfield alongside Sam Cronin. But Wondolowski and Gordon up front, that's a, do that's a nice attacking partnership up front for the Earthquakes. As the Quakes at Chivas USA will play for the first time of three going head-to-head -head tonight and then all-time the Quake 6, 7, 6, and 6 overall as we are underway. Everybody's going to be watching Alan Gordon, maybe even Clarence Goodson. Atiba Harris can cause problems for the Chivas defense as well. Alvarez to Barrera, who cuts back. Service in. Goodson is there, but it's Alvarez. Alvarez shot saved by John Bush. Played forward. Avila. There's a chip back in. The ball is free, the shot wide! Torres had an opportunity. And a breakdown at the back for the Quakes. Quakes missed, you know, I think the Quakes got away with one there because that's just going to fit, sit down very nicely for Eric Torres. And that's just the one he's waiting for. It's a side footer from eight yards out. You can see what he's trying to do. He's trying to be so composed and just put it in the bottom left-hand corner. You put your uh, mortgage on that guy scoring that one nine times out of ten, but and so he's cheating a little bit, but he's free. And once again, Torres from Rosales. Torres working against Victor. Back out to Minda. Minda chips one forward. And that one squirts off the foot of Barrera. Barrera. <laughs> Bernardes thought he had it. Barrera enters the 18. Left-footed chip, back post, headed into the air by Torres and out for a goal kick. It's good work again by this number 11, Barrera. He does look lively tonight, and he's taken on players at will. That time he beat Victor Bernardes. He stood it up at the far post, and Eric Towers is trying to climb above Jordan Stewart. It's a good challenge by Jordan. Sit on top of the loose ball. Stewart. Wando trying to sneak in. Jallo cuts back. Puts it on into the side netting. Did you have that type of ability as a player? Did you have that type of ability as a player? In a word, no. There's a service. Looking for J.J. Cabal, but he skies it over the bar. The rookie snuck in from the top of the 18, unmarked. And nearly had the Quakes on top. Well, the Quakes are starting to get into these wide areas now, and Gordish is doing what he said he was going to do, but this is a nice pass in there, and I think J.J. javal has got to score from that position. I would do is six yards out. He's leaped like a young salmon as he knocked that one down. It would have been a lot easier to head it down if he heads it down. Next Saturday. Salinas looking against Avila. Left-footed cross. There's Gianni Jallo. He shot. Score! Jallo, everybody. Quakes lead it. 1-0. All smiles here at Buckshaw. Well, that's just what the doctor ordered. Just as I was saying that the quake speed would be more positive, Jordan Stewart makes it come back from the left back position. He just pushes straight, causes a one on one opportunity for Shea Salinas. He does so well to get the crossing far post against Eric Avila. In your own goal, he could have skipped off so easy. He could be a very valuable player for the US in the World Cup. Bocanegra, unable to put any pace on that header, off the corner kick, out for a Quakes goal kick. Every time he's come on the field so far. Here comes Alan Gordon, trying Handball. to step by Kennedy, and it looked like a handball outside That's of the box. Cut. Kennedy pleading his case, Chapman reaches for red. 
Really? It's an, e it's an easy call for the referee, Antonio, because once he came out the penalty area, he's last man, it has to be a red card. I'm sure the earthquakes, to be fair, I think they'd rather have the goal that Adam Gordon was going to come and slot into the empty net. But, um, you know, it's a, a great advantage now for the earthquakes. He timed his run perfectly, Adam Gordon, beat the off offside trap. It's a clear handball by Dan Kennedy. And you're Broken right. was getting back, but... 80th minute. Chivas playing with 10 men, but Barrera has been a pain all evening on that left sideline. Victor Bernard is ready for the challenge, and that shot sent wide by Bautista. Uh, you got it right, Anthony. He is the pain, and he's been very effective outside on that left-hand side for Chivas, and that's a good ball into a very dangerous area. Both we got in front of Clarence Goods, and Clarence looks very comfortable and says, Bautista fired that one right into the front row of fans who didn't take too kindly. But nevertheless, Cronin clearing that one out briefly. Here comes Avila from 20 yards out, a low drive. Stewart is there. And any minute now, any second now, is Jordan Stewart still some life for San Jose. But that will do it. The Quakes get their first three points by way of victory of the season.